Mom. What? You want to come say hi? <laughs> you want to come say a, a Halloween hello? No, you don't. I love that monster. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, my lights aren't on. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, now you know it, you guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the, or oh, it's another one, we're taking a look at the Ace Beauty Blossom Passion Palette. So if you saw last week, I did do a, or was it two weeks ago? Last week or two weeks ago, I did a review on the Ace Beauty Paradise Fallen Palette. So now we're going to do the sister palette to that one. This is the Blossom Passion. And this packaging, just like the other one, looks so flippin' pretty. As you can see, it is pink. It's got like these peonies and roses on it. I believe that's what they are. Maybe carnations. I'm not entirely sure. Hopefully I'm saying the right flower, but again, I think these are absolutely stunning. The packaging in general, as you can see, Ace Beauty. The logo is right there. And we are going to do a review on the palette. It's not a first impressions. I have used it. I want to go ahead and make that very clear. I have used it before, um, but I want to go ahead and just do an eye look with you, do a tutorial, make it happen. But yes, if you would like to see the tutorial that I'm going to be use, doing with this palette, then keep on watching. <laughs> I went ahead and zoomed you in. First things first, I do want to swatch a few of these because I think the shades are just so freaking pretty. So here are the first three. And this one is called Peony, this one is Gardenia, and this one is Delilah, I believe. Dahlia, Delilah. Not entirely sure. Next, we have Carnation. That's a nice matte. And then this one right, oh yes. This one here is called Orchid. And then the last one on this row is this really awesome like red. That did not, there you go. This awesome red and it's called Red Rose. And then on the second row, there's two rows, so this is the final row. There is this one, it is called Eros. It's E-R-O-S, Eros, but look how gorgeous that is. And then that one, and that one is called Love. And then this one, yes, this one is called Beauty. And then these last three, I'll just do on my palm here. Look at that. This one right here is called Lust. This one is Seduction. And this one is Desire. So really pretty. This palette is flipping gorgeous. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this eye look. Let's get started. So first things first, I want to go ahead and grab a Morphe M518 blending brush. And we're going to go into the shade Gardenia. This first shade the lightest one in the palette right here and we're going to put that all over the lid and we also are going to put that in the crease i just dropped it all over me so don't do as i do because i'm dumb the palette does have a little bit of kick up as you can see right here if you can see that but it's not bad i've seen palettes that are a lot worse so this kick up doesn't bother me like it really doesn't but i did want to make you aware because i know some people really hate that And we are going to put that in the crease, going back and forth, windshield wiper motions, and then kind of along the outer V as well. So starting from the very end of your eye, we're going to go up and in. And then same thing on the other eye. And then just continue to blend that out. And of course I have already primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. As you know, I use that in every single video. Um, but yes, yeah, so the eyes are already primed, so use whatever primer that you have or like the most. Alright, so that is the base color laid down. It should look something like this. Next, we're actually going to go into the shade, I think it's, is it Dahlia? Oh, it's Dahlia. Like the black Dahlia? Oh my gosh, I hope not. That's awful what happened to her. Anyways, let's not get into it yet. We're going to go into the shade Dahlia right here right there. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you don't know what, if you don't know who the black Dahlia was, Probably don't Google it because it is a murder case. There are things that you may not want to see if you are squeamish because something did happen to somebody else and it is very sad. So 
Google at your own risk. But we're going to take this shade and we're going to put it in the crease as well. Basically the same uh, place where we put that first shade, but maybe a smidgen below where we put the first shade, just so we don't cover it up. Because what we're trying to do technically is we're trying to make the darkest color go on the lid and then we're going to get lighter and lighter the further up we go. So if you can see right here, I'm not going all the way up here like we did on that previous shade. We're just keeping it right basically in the very center of the eye. And these shades are blending out really nicely, I do think so. Um, like I said, I have used this palette before, so I do know the shades are good. Um, this palette, I do believe, let me double check for you guys, but I do believe it's $32. And it is from, it's from like the Ace Beauty website, that's where I got it from. It's $34, okay, so $35, um, which is really not that bad. I thought it was expensive when I bought it, but then I kind of like realized, like four, you get... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 eyeshadows for th really good quality eyeshadows at that and for $35 that's actually not a bad deal at all because you look at other brands that are, you know, um, more well known that are in Sephora, Ulta, stuff like that. If you got a 12 pan eyeshadow palette, you could easily pay around 50. So that's really not that bad. Alrighty, so I've got this where I want it. I have it like this. So next, we're gonna go into this red shade, which is called Red Rose. We're going for it, we're going straight in here. And then we're gonna take that on a smaller, like, it's still a fluffy blending blow. What? It's still a fluffy blending brush, but it is a Morphe M506 compared to the other one. And then this, we're going to take that and we're going to focus that on the outer part of the eye. And then also into the crease. So we're not going to go all the way up here, but we are going to take it on the outer part here and then just go directly into the crease. Because if you're not careful, this can end up being very dark. And we don't want that. That is basically what we're looking for right there. Like to where it has this nice gradient and then we're going to go back and... Well, I lied. We're not going to go back and do anything. We're going to just continue on to the other eye. Just into the crease like this. Now, I've, I have mentioned this before, but this eye, my left eye, is a lot more hooded than my other eye. So I do have to go up just a hair higher because if you can see, if I look straight in the camera, this one right here is a lot more, you can't see as much because the lid is so hooded. So I, I do end up having to go a little bit higher on this side than I do on the other side. So if it's not as even, I do apologize. Alrighty. So that is good there. That is all we're gonna do for the blend, like not for the eyes, but like for this part anyways. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a large packing brush. This is just a, I don't even know, it's from a brand called Makeup For You. I got it on Groupon because I'm that person. We're gonna go into the shade Peony right here and we're gonna um, put that all over the lid. And I don't remember if I had to use this or not, if you don't know what this is, it is the Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Primer Water. I love this stuff, it's great. And then, I'm gonna do it anyways. Actually, wait, I'm gonna go in first, because I forget, I forgot. I'm gonna go in first with it dry, and this is gonna go all over the lid. Oh, it's working great. But yeah, no, it's fine. You don't have to use uh, setting spray if you don't want to, but I am going to just because I like to. So we're just gonna spray that and then we're just going to put that shade all over the lid. So just like that, this is a beautiful shade. It has like this white pink shift. Like obviously it has pink in it, but it has like this shift to it to where it looks almost like iridescent in a way like it looks I don't know it just looks really pretty and one thing that I have been doing recently to where like I said my eye is very hooded both of them are but this one in particular I do it on both eyes but you can kind of drag it like just follow where the crease is so starting from like here and then just go all the way across like underneath the little 
flap <laughs> and then just pretend like you're cutting out the crease like you would with concealer but don't use concealer just use that shade and it can kind of open the eye up just a little bit more to where it's not so hidden so it can make you look like you have a little more eye space so what I've done here is I went from the very corner and I went up all the way and then down and around so up and then just kind of like a moon if that makes any sense and that's it for that. Next, what I'm going to do, we're going to do the lower lash line. And for that, we're going to go into the shade, sedu just got that all over me, Seduction right here, this pretty brown. And then we are going to run that all on the lower part of the eye. Just like that. And then we are going to also take this same blending brush and we're going to go into the Lust shade right here. That one. And we're going to just drag that along the outer corner and just buff it out. Just like that. So that's pretty much it for the eyes. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do my liner because like I don't really do much else. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use the Itch Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I've used this pretty recently. I'm liking it a lot. So we're going to go ahead and put on some lashes. Alrighty. Good to go. Now, I know some people may be looking at this and be like, oh my god, I can't wear that on my eyes. Like, that's pink and red. I'll look like I'm sick. Like, I'll look awful. Like, I get it. I understand. But... The one thing that I have found out when it comes to wearing pink and red on your eyes is to put something light in the center, not in the center, but like in the inner corners. Because if you put like dark in the inner corners, it kind of like draws everything in and it makes it, and it can make it look sickly. It can make you look like you have some kind of like you've come down with something. But if you put some light in the inner corner or like on the lid, that's why we use the shade, it still opens the eye up and it makes you look a little more lively. So. If you ever wear pinks or reds on your eyes, just kind of remember that tip. I actually got that tip from my mom uh, a long time ago. And then I also think I heard it from Kathleen Lights as well. Don't quote me on that, but I think it was Kathleen, but I also heard it from my mom um, before. So that was really nice. So we're going to go ahead and move on to lips here. And for lips, we're going to be using the Kylie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Kristen. We're going to go ahead and put her on. If you've not seen this shade... I'm going to go ahead and swatch it here for you. I've used this shade so many times, it's ridiculous. Here's what it looks like. It's a beautiful, kind of like rosy. Is that considered a nude? I'm not sure. But it's like a rosy nude pink color. I think it's beautiful. And we're going to go ahead and put this on. Just like that. We are a pink person today. But yes, you guys, this is going to be the look. I personally love wearing these kinds of colors on the eye. I do think they look really pretty, so I do like this a lot. I'm kind of obsessed. And then as for this palette, I think this palette is great. As you know, I have used it before, like I already knew that, but this palette is truly awesome. I... I know a lot of indie brands are making, you know, palettes right now and they're coming out with a lot of really, really great stuff and this stuff is really, really good and it's not very expensive. Like, it is still a little bit of money, but it's definitely not as much as you would pay for maybe spending from another brand, you know? But this palette right here, it's wonderful. It's an indie brand, Ace Beauty, again, if you can see that, and then I'll have their information linked in the description below, but you guys, I... 100%. If you are in the market for something like this, they have four other palettes. So they have this one, a purple one, a kind of like um, orange and yellow toned one, and then a kind of like rainbow, really pretty colors, kind of flam not flamingo, but um, rainbow palette. So really pretty. You can get them individually or you can get them all in one bulk palette. Uh, order like one bulk so all four and I think you save a bit of money that way but yeah guys that's gonna be the look that's gonna be the review I'm excited I like this palette if you're into this then I think you'll like it as well but you guys that's gonna be the end of the video for me today I really hope that you did enjoy it if you did then go and click up that like button for me and subscribe if you want to if you want to see the videos that I post them and I post them click the little bell down at the bottom there again my name is Kinsey I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow bye bye